And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some encroaching shadows. We're going to play a sweet ephemeral deck going very aggro, very aggressive with our um, ephemerals. And then we got our combo card with encroaching shadows at the top end. So, you know, our four mana burst will grant all allies in our deck and our hand plus two, plus two, and ephemeral. So once we do that, we're going to need to be killing our opponent pretty quick because we're going to have all ephemeral stuff. We're never really going to be able to block. Um, but one card that can work pretty well with that is Deathmark because then we can have Deathmark remove the ephemeral from anything, like whatever we play, and grant it to something on our opponent's side. So we could use Deathmark to maybe even help keep a champion alive. Or, of course, Darkwater Scourge. That's going to be the main combo. So especially if we play like the Encroaching Shadows first, this will be a 7-7 with lifesteal and then maybe we can keep it alive but anyway we're going to be um, attacking two main things in our deck are going to be the shark chariot which can keep coming back each attack and also the silent shadow seer which we can keep replaying each turn so these are two recursive threats that can that can uh, continually do do damage turn after turn so that we don't just run out of cards so these are going to be important at attacking dark bar scourge important at defending and uh, that's kind of what our deck's all about. A couple atrocities in case our opponent is stabilizing and they're getting a bunch of blockers out and we need some extra ways to get through the last points of damage. All right, so let's give this a try. Encroaching Shadows looks like a pretty sweet meme tier deck. We got a pretty good meme tier Monday on at the docket today. I need to uh, turn the light on behind me though. Sorry, I meant to do that right before this video. Forgot about that, my bad. All right, playing against a slower deck, hopefully a slower deck. And we are going to be keeping this. I like this hand. If we had one more mana by turn two, we could play all of this on turn two. Not quite. I think we're gonna go Islander and then Shadow Seer again. I think that's better than playing Soul Shepherd. Sure is dark, eh? Unfortunately, when this creates a copy of me in hand, it does not create zero mana copies. I wish it did, but the copies that it'll create will be two mana. One star's whoopsie is another spark. Night falls, shadows gather. Yeah, and then we'll play Soul Shepherd on their turn. All in the wrist, see? Hold still. Oh heck! Man overboard! Because <laughs> I've tried that before. Makes the two mana copy. I don't like that. I think it should create an exact copy of me in hand. That would be awesome. Yeah, we go Callista, so the next turn we can go Soul Shepherd and Silent Shadow Seer. Yeah, I mean, we're going to play the, these two. I'll just play the card they know about first. Kind of expecting a big dragon. Okay, okay, that's not too bad. Trade our three mana card for their six mana card. It's not too bad. All right, got some nice damage in so far. Yeah, I mean, you could still, I mean, Shadow Seer still dies to removal and stuff. I mean, yeah, even the perma permanent buffs. I mean, yeah, I wish it did. You're still having to spend two mana to replay it each time. So it's not like something that just stays out there and can attack and block. Like, I, I don't think that that would be broken at all on this card, making it exact copy. All right, I'm going to Stalking Shadow first. A little bit more information on what we want to do. Does death follow me or peace? I am change. All 
Round of six. So they just get to have that thing block. Because this is going to block the... Like, the this Vox is already going to block the shark. Ouch, that really hurts. So they just get a, a free block here that they don't have to use the Herald of Dragons in combat. Oh, they're not blocking the shark. Okay, I thought that that was going to block the shark. And then that would create a, a dragon for them. And it would get the plus one, plus one. If I'm them, I'm blocking that shark. That's what I would have done if I was them. Yeah, definitely hoping to steal this with the Doom Beast. Be a good time to draw like an atrocity. Or a Hecarim. Or Stalking Shadows into another Doom Beast. Okay. That's pretty good. Definitely think that they're going to have single combats and concerted strikes and that kind of stuff. Alright, going for the 6-6 six, six, because they can't just have a single combat and kill the 6-6 six, six with anything with the... with the 6-6. Six, six. Alright, there we go. Atrocity wins it. Alright, GG's. Oh, right, single combat kills the ephemeral anyway. Right, 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 good good call, good call. <laughs> that was a dragon throwing a temper tantrum. That is kind of what that animation did look like. The dragon was throwing a temper tantrum. <laughs> that's awesome. That's, that's awesome. All right, we'll mulligan the atrocity to start with, but I kind of like all three of these. Yeah, we're going to keep all of these. I want to find... The death mark to go along with our dark water scourge. They're mono noxus, so gotta be, you know, gotta be real aggressive. They're mono noxus, so that's why I want to keep the dark water scourge. And Zed's just, you know, awesome and all Zeddy and stuff. Mm. I guess we play this. Let's see if we find a one drop. We did find a one drop. So we're gonna attack for four and then have this thing be a two on the blocks. Alright, that's fine. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Seventeen? Yeah, we we don't need to have Scourge yet. Zed or Callista. Zed attacks for more than Callista. I don't know, why do you fight? Have you tried a Legion Marauder with the new expansion? Uh, no, I have not. I have not tried a Legion Marauder with the new expansion. But we get these in play right now. Help level up this Callista. Victory requires a sharp blade. We're sure so what you want and, and cost. Cost. Okay, well I don't like I don't like this. 
I guess I have to just attack with the Callista. Because otherwise the Legion Drummer just combines with the Glory Seeker to kill the Callista for free. So I guess we just trade there. Was not my plan. So I kind of want to get the Hecarim in play first before the Encroaching Shadows. If possible. Oh darn. These are some options. Shark Chariot's the best aggressive option. We're gonna go with the Doom Beast, though. I'll get some draining in along with some blocks. And now next turn I play Hecarim. And then the turn after that I can have like Shadows plus Doom Beast or Scourge. My dog Harvey, she loves rolling around on her back and and doing that. Ooh, now we have Deathmark though. Okay, so we have the Scourge Deathmark combo. Which I kind of think we actually just need to do this. Us being at five and all. All right, hope this works. Yeah. No. No. Here to win the war, soldier. That's bad. I should have done this. I should have just. I should have done this first, and then done the spell. That's what I should have done with the death mark. Uh, well. That's bad. So I want to play Doom Beast right now. I kind of think I have to go Encroaching Shadows and then Doom Beast. Because uh, I can't just play Oblivious Islander. And then, you know, like, we won't have, like, the Doom Beast available. So we're going to go Encroaching Shadows. And Doom Beast to Drain. Yeah, because they go straight to, to combat, so we had to gain that two life. Alright, so we got to block here. And then block here. Puts me to four. Block here. Puts me to two. I think dies either way. No, don't kill me. Lame. Yeah, I don't think that we we're winning that even even if I would have done it correctly. But next time I'll make sure to do that correctly. Alright, let's keep the Soul Shepherd. Let's try to get a little bit more aggressive. Besides that. So could have played the onlooker to have a 2-1 in play right now. Do not fear that. So we'll see if this onlooker gets more than two damage across. But we also don't know if it would have got two damage across. Maybe they'd have, you know, like Vile Feast or whatever, and they would just kill it. We, we shall not rest until all betrayers be. Yeah, I think we're going Double Shark. Which I guess means we're going Oblivious Islander Double Shark. Because I can't go Double Shark and Onlooker. I'm going to go throw a party about it. I believe that this will create 
a two mana copy again. Darn it. Oh, if only that was a one mana copy. So then we could play that and the onlooker. Question is, is do I sacrifice Callista? Yeah, I don't I don't like it. I don't like the full. I don't like I don't think I want to sacrifice either of these for four damage. I could maybe the Soul Shepherd. No, I don't think it's worth it. I think we just take the six. Six damage, that's good. They're down to twelve. Definitely worried about Ice Quake. the ice quake it's not gonna kill trundle so we could kill weirding stones or we could do two damage to them because if this if if i if i sacrifice the soul shepherd and then if they have a two mana deal one damage and they kill my callista anyway by doing one damage then i have no way to bring these other sharks back and then we're we're pretty stuck so this at least if they still kill callista i still have this to bring the sharks back all be four twos yep they look angry I mean they needed that I mean that without that chant they were dead that soul chant we kept that thing alive which saved them four life and they saved them one life here that troll chant did save them five life. And they're now at three. Why would we want Stalking Shadows right now? We don't have any cards to, to buff up with Stalking Shadows. We just need more threats to finish the game out. Our strength is yours. They have to kill my Callista before I attack with it. And there we go. And so playing Zed would not make any sense. Good job, Atrocity. GG's. Two and one. We, we have no mercy. Fiora Shen. This is my kind of deck. Fiora Shen. Unfortunately, they're going to do a really good job at uh, challenging, probably. Smaller units, so that's not good for me. Darkwater Scourge would be great if we can find Deathmark. But if we can't find Deathmark, it's just really expensive. For all the 1 and 2 mana cards we have in this deck, we... Spent a lot of turns without having a one or a two mana card. <laughs> Who goes there? Please don't have three mana challenger. Darn. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Feel the sizzle! Oh god! No one goes hungry! I am the blade in the darkness. Deny 
I mean, stalking... Yeah, I mean, either way... I, th I mean, I think you can go Encroaching Shadows or Stalking Shadows first, and you'll still get the plus two, plus two. As far as I know. I have many so attacking first doesn't let them, like, Bright Steel Protector, the Fiora... Okay. So our three drop traded for their two drop and their removal spell. Got got a two for one. Do we just go all in with the encroaching shadows? Let's try this. Because basically playing any unit out to block Fiora doesn't sound like a something that I really want to do, right? Like that doesn't sound great. Two worlds, one balance. It must be done. It's not going to gain me any life because of the barrier that Fior that Shen's going to do. But, you know, it stops them from dealing three damage to me, I suppose. And it's something that Fiora doesn't kill. Alright, so how is this going to work? Round six. How are we sequencing this? We definitely need a Obli Oblivious Islander is going to be very important. Um, I'm just going to make this thing cost zero. Fresh catch. Well, it was fresh. So we're going to have five mana. If only Fiora could see me now. She can. She's not impressed. Oh, uh, but then we're going to get. Oh, this is going to cost one mana, so that's not going to actually really help us. Play this thing. If only Fiora could see me now. She can. The shadows take form. An unholy union of Let's see what's happening. Immediately. I'm going to have Fading Memories, the Darkwater Scourge. have that for next turn you know we just got to try to stay alive this turn I find them so playing some some things soul. to block to the face. so if they i mean if they have like a stand united i'm gonna die because of this this green glade caretaker that was a this is a great card for them all right they didn't stand united we not dead. Now we'll save our spell mana. Round eight. Man, I want to play you, Hecarim. But I can't. So we need to have this available. And probably want Doom Beast to drain too. So that means we're going to go Silent Shadow Seer. And then Doom Beast. And then we can either Atrocity, the Silent Shadow Seer, or the Doom Beast, either one.
So they have to have multiple fight spells. Alright, so we let that happen. I think that's my best plan. Hopefully no Concerted Strike. Or no, no, yeah, single combat does it. What am I saying? Because my thing is ephemeral. <laughs> so it, it dies. I always, I always forget about that. Okay, well they didn't have another fight spell. So they needed two fight spells. Good old atrocity. Yeah, our deck's doing real nice. Definitely. Lulu Terek. Some earlier stuff to go along with this Zed. Definitely wish we had the attack token on turn three. All right, not the not the best mulligan. That's for sure. Not the best mulligan. All right, that's a great card though. We got the the combo for next turn. Let's just play the Zed to start with. See if they do anything to deal with this Zed with this mana. And then it should open up. Yeah, if they're using mana on the Zed, maybe that opens up our combo to be used easier. Play like Tarek or something. Four mana. About fourteen. Hmm. Alright, not gonna do it yet. So next turn we'll have Soul Shepherd plus Dark Water Scourge plus Death Mark. That's why I played Zed here instead of Soul Shepherd just because of like the whole five mana thing. I'm gonna need to play this first because they're probably just gonna play a burst spell and then go to combat. Shatter them. This way, oh, you're so hungry. Never submit. Oh, don't get too close. This is not going to kill Tarek. Alright, let's get let's get our Hecarim in play. We must protect the peak. Harbor of the peak. The Yuck.
Yuck. further. I, I would be surprised if they buffed Hecarim. I think Hecarim's in a good spot where it is. We've seen Hecarim dominate before. I mean, how, like, what more do you want with a, a card? It's a 5-5 it's a five, five Overwhelm that whenever it attacks, it also brings two 2-2s. Two like... How much more do you want from the card? I mean, I, I feel like it's... It's not Hecarim that's... Hecarim's not the reason why Hecarim isn't played very much. I think it's a, the supporting cast more. No, um, no, this is copy the last spell that you cast on only, on, and on only Tarek, so no, Deathmark would not, uh, go over to Tarek and then copy over, no. Um. to grant it over here. Okay, we're not dead. Because the ephemeral doesn't go away. It can't die this round. Please keep her. Look into my heart. But that's just this round, so the ephemeral won't go away. But it will die the next round. Um... Of course, it is just a free blocker. But just take, I don't know, taking out the 1-1 one, one elusive instead, I just felt like taking out this thing was just going to be more important, even though I gave them a free blocker. I mean, yeah, Shark's shark's pretty nice to have in the opening hand. We, we haven't had Shark in our opening hand in any of these games, so I wouldn't say it's like the most important thing. We've had it zero times. But it's definitely nice to have. There is... Okay. GG. 
Jeez. I guess I should put it on the elusive. Yeah, Atrocity would have been a great top deck, wouldn't it? All right, but still, real competitive there with our Encroaching Shadows deck. Uh, we didn't have the best opening hands either, and we still got to three and two, so that's pretty awesome. You know, quite frequently we didn't have anything to, to play on turn one or turn two, which is kind of crazy with all of these one and two mana cards. But we were most of the time not starting until turn three. Um, uh, yeah. Um... Yeah, definitely like Darkwater Scourge and Deathmark. Kind of wish we could have more Deathmarks than just three, <laughs> right? Like that's this is definitely a really important card for us to find. Um, let's see. But our, our deck played pretty well. It was you know it was really aggressive, and we were able to sneak out some wins. Atrocity was key. We got like two different Atrocity wins. Those were pretty clutch. But both of our Atrocity wins, I. I think would have been wins if Atrocity was just deny anyway. I believe. So it could be deny here also. Um, but. Uh, but yeah. Um, I want like I wonder if the deck is better without Encroaching Shadows. Like if Encroaching Shadows is actually necessary. I kind of feel like it's not necessary. Um honestly, but we want to just keep on trying to find ways to make this card work. Um, yeah, you do... Having That is true. Having, like, Elusive or Overwhelm, that kind of stuff with Encroaching Shadows could be necessary. I mean, like, the Fearsome works really well with the Encroaching Shadows. Also kind of make it, like, a, more of a Shadow Isles Fearsome deck with Encroaching Shadows. But... But anyway, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you got any, oh, I'm sorry, this was this is in the way. I'm sorry. Uh, if you have any uh, suggestions, comments, anything like that, feel free to leave them over there on YouTube. You got any uh, suggestions for next week for memes here Monday? You know, I'm open to open to that. What do y'all want to see? Um, you know, anything like that. All right. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Some encroaching shadows, and I'll see you for the next video.